Hey YouTube, got a really cool new pedal the other day I wanted to check out. Um, this is called the Sushi Box Dr. Watson preamp. Um, this specific one is a bass preamp pedal. Um, so I actually came across this pedal about a month ago. Um, well, I came across Sushi Box in, in general about a month ago. Um, I was doing some research, trying to learn more about high watt amps and different preamps available um, that kind of get you some of those high watt tones. And there didn't really seem to be much on the market. Um, Tech 21 used to make a pedal back in the day, but they're pretty hard to find and kind of expensive, uh, I thought, for what they were. Um, and I came across a thread on Talkbase about Sushi Box and that he was planning on creating a high watt type preamp pedal in the near future. So I shot him a message and uh, pre-ordered the pedal. Um, if you guys want to check them out, uh, Sushi Box, letter F, letter X, SushiBoxFX.com. All their pedals are pre-order based right now. Um, you, they, he makes about 20 of them a month. I think they're booked out through February right now. Um, but this was the October batch. Um, just got it, literally just got it yesterday. So uh, I've had a decent amount of time to play with it. So just some quick background on the pedal. Um, it is a preamp pedal. It can be used as a drive if you want. Um, I My purpose of buying this pedal is to use it as a, a headphone rig slash recording rig. So I personally don't have it um, hooked up to my my amp, which just is an Ampeg tube amp. I did try it out for the fun of it. it sounds really good. It's very loud. Um, but I think as a preamp is really what it's really designed for. Um, and it, to me, that's what it sounds best as as well. Um, so when you guys go on their website, you'll see they make a variety of pedals. Um, one really cool thing I liked about it is that almost all the pedals are customizable in one way or another. Um, so you can change the housing color. So this is the the matte black. Looks really, really good. It's got laser engraving for the logos. Um, you can also choose the different knobs. These are just the standard black knobs. They make they make some pretty colorful stuff too, if that's your style. Uh, but I kind of was going more for the, the high watt color scheme which you know led me to get these colors here um on this this pedal pedal in particular you can select between um, a guitar or bass version it just changes some of the internal components to fit those frequencies better um, so this one is the bass and something you might notice if my camera will focus is these little tubes inside so these are actual tubes um, these are called 6n21b tubes um, so they're soviet new old stock tubes they're kind of a miniature size uh, tone wise they're very similar to a 12ax7 um, but obviously a lot smaller um, and that's what these little vents here are for because they actually do put out some heat the pedal when you let it run for a while it actually does get pretty warm not hot but warm uh, so pretty cool uh, behind the tubes are leds so when i engage the pedal you see they turn red you can actually get different leds if you want um, i thought red looked pretty darn cool um, but yeah so one quick note about the tubes they do draw a decent amount of power so you'll see, see up here it takes anywhere from 9 to 12 volts uh, it does pull about a thousand ma once the pedal is going by um, but sushi box recommends at least a 1500 which is a very hefty amount most standard power supplies like an mxr uh, or walrus or whatever don't accommodate that so i purchased a one spot wall wart tile plug um, it supports up to 1700 so it works great since it's a home amp you know for recording i didn't need all my fancy cable management so i just plug this into the wall um, and i do run it into a dark glass element as a cabinet simulator when i'm recording um, for the sake of this demo today i'm going to do just the dr watson preamp at the start show you what the eq can do what the gain can do um, and then at the end of the video um, we'll turn on the cabinet simulator so you can hear what it sounds like at least in my personal recording setup really really good sounding pedal nails um, the old vintage tones. I'm going to try it on a variety of bases too, so you can hear an active, passive, four string, five string. Um, so, yeah, let's get to it. Let's start talking about this pedal. All right, I got the pedal all hooked up. So, now we're going to start messing with some of the demos. Um, so, I'm going to start this off everything at noon, gain at nine, master about 12. All right, so here is my bass tone without um, any, any signal. Engage the pedal. Sounds really 
good already. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the different um, EQ options. So I'm going to leave everything at noon, and we're going to mess with just the bass now. So the bass is probably the widest range out of all the, the tone controls on this pedal. So all the way off, pretty thin. And then all the way up. Definitely tell it's a whole lot fatter. And then back to noon. check out the mids. So mids are a little more subtle, but I can still hear um, the differences between all the way up and all the way down. All the way up. I'm going to try to play it open notes here while, while um, turning this all the way up so you can hear it. kind of opens it up. I could see how it'll help you cut through the mix when I'm turning that up past noon. And then lastly, treble. So this one seems to be a little more subtle to me. Um, it seems that maybe it adjusts very high frequency, so maybe it's more noticeable on guitar. Uh, but on bass, I just hear it in the very upper, upper frequency. So all the way off. It kind of seems that maybe like some fret noise comes through, which I, I do like, so I definitely will use it. Uh, maybe with an overdrive in front of it, um, maybe here a little more as well. So I'll do another sweep here while playing on uh, the open D string. And then a little more this one time. You can notice it a little more when I do that towards the end there. Um, so yeah, so let's go to the gain now. So I have the gain at nine, so a pretty clean tone. All right, we'll do about 10, 30, 11 ish. Back here, keep it at unity. Starting to pick up that grit already, which I love. Alright, so let's go about noon now. I'm going to cut the master back some more so we don't blow up any speakers. Alright, let's go about 2 o'clock. Should start getting some hair on this now for sure. Definitely nails that old school rock tone. All right, so I'm gonna go a little bit higher. Uh, I'm not sure if it's coming through on the recording, but if you guys hear some like weird electrical noise, it's my house. It's not the pedal. My house always makes weird noises. Depends on whatever time of day it is too. So at least I hear some in my in my headphones. So I'm not sure if that's coming through, but it's not the pedal. Here's three o'clock. Now, uh, I'm going to try a little bit with a pick here. And then all the way up, back to finger style. compress when I dig in you can almost hear it squish that tone it sounds pretty good I'm gonna play really soft and then get heavier it's, it's a very touch sensitive pedal which is something I look for I can really hear that compression let me back it off and do something similar here That's exactly what I want in a preamp type pedal, especially when you're going for that tube tone. All right, let me grab a different bass really quick. I'll try a different tone. All 
All right, this next space, this is a five stream Warwick thumb. So this is uh, active pickups and active preamp. Um, probably gonna have to cut the game back just because it is an active base. So let's go about nine o'clock again, bump the volume. So I'm going to kind of play with the EQ here a little bit. Let's go for a more modern sound. So I'm going to scoop the mids a little bit, add some treble, add some bass. Uh, I'll bump the gain just a little bit and see what happens. That was really good there. We'll see how this sounds. Sometimes I usually don't like tube style overdrive on an active bass, but you never know. Check volume check. just for the sake of variety. All right, this last base is a Rickenbacker clone that I built uh, for myself. So this one has three humbuckers. It's set up like the, the Lemmy style base. Um, so right now the pickups, uh, out of the three, it's a neck metal bridge. I have just the middle one engaged. So this is more of a precision bass type tone. Uh, I'm just going to put the gain at noon. We'll leave that there. It might be a little dirty, but that's what I like. Alright, and we'll go clean just so you guys can hear that. Put some mids back in there. Bass does have, have quite a bit of output, um, at least in that pickup setting. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on all three pickups. It seems to balance it out a little bit better, volume wise at least. So it'll probably sound a little cleaner. Sounds really good there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and flip back to the jazz bass really fast. Alright, so the last part of this demo here, I'm going to turn on the cabinet simulator. So once again, really quick, uh, I'm going to kind of dial in my, my favorite tone. So four mids there. I like a lot of mids. All right, so I'm going to turn on the cabinet simulator. So this one here um, is a 810 cabinet simulator, kind of based off, a, I'm assuming it's an Ampeg. It's one of the built-in dark glass um, cabinet simulators. So that simulator seems to add a lot of bass, um, so I'm going to cut the bass on the preamp a lot. See what happens now. That's a good tone there. Probably cut that a little bit. Add some more top in. It's a really good rock tone, especially with the pick here. cabinet simulator so this one here is a 412 it has a lot more mids a lot less low end I really like that tone 
for that. I'd probably use that for recording right there for a good dirty rock tone. <laughs> Let's do one clean one before we wrap this up. We'll do something a little more modern again. Scoop the mids. Let's go. So there's a 410 simulator on this pedal that's really bassy. So I'm probably going to have to cut it, but it has an awesome modern tone, especially for slap. Alright, so that is it. That is the Sushi Box Dr. Watson Bass Preamp Pedal. I'll make sure to put a link in the description to their website. Feel free to check them out. Highly, highly recommend this pedal. Thank you for watching.